Anorexia is defined as an eating disorder causing people to obsess about weight and what they eat. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't joined us, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can be a part of us. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when my videos drop. As you can see, we're going to get a little heavy about my topic today. This is something that I think is important to not only talk about but to educate people about. So let's get right into it. I did suffer from anorexia at one point in my life. I am so big on being healthy simply because I've never had a healthy relationship with food. And I know every day is not going to be the same because sometimes people think you just get over it like you see a person's healthy and you think oh she knows what it is to like not eat too much or whatever i struggle with it daily because it's something i've had to start unlearning so sometimes i even catch myself till today making mistakes i used to be bigger than what i am for my age so at that time i probably weighed what i weigh today <laughs> which is very weird but as you can tell, healthy is in different sizes, also because of the fact that I work out, that has been beneficial in the way that my body proportions the weight, okay? When I was young, I can say as young as 10, I started to put on weight, and that was just because I liked food. Um, I was never skinny as a child. As the years went on, I used to just eat, and I would eat when I was sad, I would eat when I was happy, I was eating when I was angry, I'd eat when I was bored, I would eat because my mouth just wants to eat and it was never a healthy thing because of the fact that I never thought about what I was doing to my body like what I was putting in I used to eat a lot of junk I was that kid you know he's got the lost weight I just grew up a bit faster than I was supposed to and it took a toll on my confidence I never thought I was ever beautiful enough I thought I basically really like I classified myself as ugly duckling. This is really how I used to see myself. I used to think it was like a privilege if a guy liked me. I never thought of myself as worthy of being loved, of giving myself love and of treating my body with love. So I ended up in grade six really obsessing over my weight. I started a weight loss program with my mom and I enjoyed it. It was not the weight loss program, by the way, that caused me to become an exit. So after um, joining this weight loss program, I realized that I was losing weight, I was feeling good, and I really didn't want to, you know, get rid of the results. I was feeling great. like. People are looking at me, I'm getting told I'm pretty. I'm like, oh my gosh, you noticed? <laughs> you noticed? I'm like two kilograms down. I then was noticing the attention and I got so obsessed with that and with the way I was eating because I thought every single thing that I ate would affect the progress I was making and I started obsessing over my eating, which basically is the beginning of any eating disorder. I know there is bulimia, I know um, that they're all different but it is all a mental unwellness that causes you to get to that place I, as a result start to cut out meals there came a point where I was eating I literally would come home from school and I would only eat cornflakes and go to bed and I wouldn't have eaten at school or if I was eating at school I would eat an icy and then come home eat cereal go to bed it made me feel great like skinny was feeling so you know and in my mind I thought I was doing my body justice you're fat I punish you it came to a point where when I would eat more than what I usually would eat I would feel sick so my body was like in reverse now and it was just such an unhealthy place that I found myself in and I kept like planning like okay so tomorrow I'm gonna eat lunch instead of supper but you know like I would just choose what time of the day I would eat basically and most times I'd say supper because I'm going to bed and I don't no one wants to feel hungry when you're going to bed so I'd starve myself out until supper or just eat very little until supper and then team skinny 
you know that was really what i thought um my family intervened and they had noticed that this was becoming a lot i like was dropping weight significantly i don't think i took many pictures around that time simply because i actually never thought i was good enough like people were telling me that's the thing about anorexia people will tell you you are looking good oh my gosh but you're always thinking ahead and thinking like yeah but like my back fat could have been less and I probably need like a flatter stomach and why am I size 32 I should be a size 30 at this age you know like I'm I'm thinking I need to be skinnier like I'm not at my best Thank God I had a support system. When you do go through this, talk to people who love you because it's something that you need to have shifted and unlearned. And if you can get professional help, please do because there are also levels to the bezels. I fortunately was just in a place where I needed affirmation and I needed to check myself. And I did have a scare I at some point went to hospital because I fainted in the house and that for me was my awakening that when my body shut down like that moment was God telling me you need to stop and I'm a person who's extremely healthy so for me whenever my body gets to a point where me and it are not connecting like we are just not in sync like I'm not feeling my body like I normally do we need to cut it. I'm sharing my story because I know that somebody out there may have either experienced this, almost experienced this, or is thinking of going into starving yourself. It's not worth it. Your body is a temple and treat it as such and have a good relationship with food. Find healthier ways that are recommended, that are okayed by doctors for you to be able to either lose weight or put on weight. Please don't turn to the easiest quick fix. I just am grateful that I came out alive. I don't have any issues medically, thank God. And I still love my food. I love my food. That's the end of my video. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's one. And I know the tone was a lot serious, but I wanna also, you know, be a big sister on this channel um, and just be someone who you can look at and say I at least relate to how you viewed yourself or what you've gone through I'll see you in my next video as always be awesome bye babes